to you all, my lovely Kohai. My name is Shelby Senpai, and I'll be your forever loyal hostess. Welcome back to my channel, and let's get to it. Today for you all, I have something spectacularly amazing. It is one of my holy, holy grails, and I actually got her. But before we get to what's behind curtain number one, I have a couple of extras to show you. The person who I bought my holy grail from actually sent me a few extras that he had just lying around and I thank him so so very much that was super sweet of him and I absolutely enjoy the extras. And the extras kind of go along with what is behind this curtain. The first extra that he sent me is actually this Hatsune Miku little micro squishable. Here she is out of the package and she is just so stinking cute and she's super squishy. Oh, I love her so much. I actually saw one of these at a con that I went to and they wanted $20 for her and I just couldn't spend it. And look, I'm so happy I did not spend the money because she is just so dang cute and she was, I guess, free kind of. Here's what her tag says. It says micro squishables and on the inside it has some Facebook information and it says I am squishable. Here's another tag with it and it looks like it was an omakase exclusive. I think I said that right. Not really sure. But she is just super stinking cute and I'm absolutely in love with her. Next he also sent me this and it is actually a Rin and Lynn belt set. It says right here Kagamein Rin and Lynn and it's super cute and this also looks like it was a Omakase Omakasa Omak something exclusive. Um, I wonder if this is kind of like the subscription boxes that you can get. I wonder if they had a Miku themed one or a Vocaloid themed one at some point. If so, I need to kind of look into that. He also sent me this adorable little comic anthology of Hatsune Miku and all of the other main Vocaloids. Let me give you a little flip through. It is super cute. I absolutely love it. It's just a nice little additional piece to the collection. And I really think it's adorable. And also, it looks like it is another exclusive to that same company and brand. And finally, he also sent me some adorable sticker sheets. It's the same sheet, but I absolutely love it. They are so cute on here. I cannot wait to use these sticker sheets in future giveaway packages. I think they're just so cute. And if you look right there, there is the omakase symbol again. Um, I think this was like maybe kind of like a loot crate at some point. If it is, I'm going to look into it. But I'm so fortunate that he gave me all of this stuff that is Hatsune Miku related. You all know she's my waifu, number one girl, no matter what, and I'm absolutely in love with it. Alright, enough chit chat. Let's pull back this curtain and get to figuring it out. Woo! Wayo! That's right, ya yeah, girl, your senpai got the Hatsune Miku Dolphy Dream! Her holy grail of holy grails. I am so excited. Her. He had her stored away. She's even in her original clear plastic packaging. She's never been opened. She's never seen the light of day since her first release. Now in the aftermarket, this girl can get pretty high, but I do believe that I got her for a very good deal considering that he was allowing me to make payment plans on her and now she is finally mine. So I am just going to cut her out of this plastic prison real quick. 
and we can get started at taking a look at her and all of her glory. Okay, so I have her out of her plastic, but I do want to go over what her box has on it because I feel like nobody has ever really done that. Her box is really nice. It's different compared to regular Vokes Doffy Dreams. Um, normally Vokes dolls come in like this small yellow box, but this is a fairly large box compared to the regular yellow one. The box actually itself is kind of like a slip. If you see here, I can just push and it'll come right on out. Um, that's really different compared to just the regular yellow Dolphy Dream or Volks doll boxes. Um, it's also kind of like a collector sleeve, um, which is kind of nice because if you look at it, you can think of it kind of as recycling. That way you just don't throw away the box. You actually have really nice art as well. Okay. Here we have some warnings about the doll. It does state that this is for ages 15 and up, so do be careful who you buy this for. Moving on down, we see that we have one of Hatsune Miku's pigtails here on the side of the box. We see the Dolphy Dream logo and the Hatsune Miku logo as well. Here on the back, we see a nice silhouette of Hatsune Miku in this really pretty light seafoam green color. And in the back, as if it is a watermark, we can see Dolphy Dream shooting across. And we also see some nice bars here as if it was sound effects. The other side of the box, we once again see the Dolphy Dream logo with the Hatsune Miku logo and a little bit of her pigtails. As for the front of the box, we see here at the very bottom Miku's boots with, once again, the Hatsune Miku logo and the Dolphy Dream logo. Moving our way up, we see a beautiful, beautiful art picture of Miku herself. She is absolutely stunning on this box. I love this art of her. She is amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and open her on up. Now, I will be using gloves to touch her because in our hands, we have natural oils and everything that can actually damage the vinyl that uh, the dolls are made out of, and I don't want to do that. Warning, before this video goes any further, there is going to be doll nudity. I don't know how people feel about that or anything, but just warning you now. So she is nicely bubble wrapped. I'm going to just take her out of this. Oh, she is gorgeous oh my gosh oh my lord <laughs> she is so beautiful she is oh my lord i'm at a loss for words she is just amazing the pictures that i've seen of her and the videos that i've seen of her do no justice to the eyes that are in her Oh my gosh, her eyes are absolutely stunning. Oh, and that cheeky little smile of hers is just beautiful. Oh, she really, really smells new. Oh my goodness. And her hands are painted. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Oh, and she's kind of soft. I wasn't really expecting that. I guess when people say soft, they mean a little squishy. Um, I don't know if you can see, but when I do this, the plastic kind of bends a little bit. Um, I was expecting her to be completely hard and she's not. Even her hand and fingers kind of, kind of move a little bit. Not a lot. Wow. That's really awesome. She is just so cute. Oh my gosh, I love how her eyes catch the light. Oh yeah. And she is like other ball jointed dolls. You can take the back of her head off and in there is where her eyes are being held and they are being held by, I can't decide if that's glue or putty that it's being held by, but that is right there is what keeping her eyes in. There, there is the company's seal, watermark, whatever you want to call it, 
um, 2014 Volks Incorporated Japan. I just wanted to get her a little closer up without her body causing any problems. She is absolutely beautiful. I am already in love and I haven't even had her five minutes. Oh my gosh, her eyes are stunning. I just feel like the camera and pictures are never going to do her eyes justice unless you see them in person. And she's got some lovely slight blushing around her lips and right underneath her eyes. Oh, she is just so darling. I love her so much. And she has some very lovely sculpting on her. Look at her neck right here and her rib cage down to her belly button. Look at her hips. Her hips and her belly button are done absolutely phenomenally. I love how that looks right there. Absolutely. Going on down to her thighs and then her knees and her little toes are just so cute. I really would have loved to see her toenails painted too. That would have been really cute as well but I still think she's adorable nonetheless. Back of her is done amazing too. Look at her shoulder blades and her spine. Her butt is so cute. The back of her thighs, the back of her calves, and the back of her heels. And the bottom of her feet are super cute too. She also comes with her wig, her boots, this bag full of clothing and other accessories. Here we also have her headset, which did come in this little white box. We also get the Japanese instruction booklet, and we also get an English instructional booklet. So in the clear bag that the Japanese instruction manual came in, we have the tattoos that go onto Miku's arm. I will not be putting the tattoos on her arm because I plan on getting the little onesie that you can put on Miku so that way she doesn't stain or get damaged or anything like that. So here is the Japanese instruction manual. As you can see here, it is going to tell me step by step on how to put my Miku together properly and how to protect her and all that good stuff. Came with a little folks catalog and in here you can see different dolls that they do offer, different accessories, different parts that you can look into and get. There is so much mixing and matching in here. You probably can just make your own doll how you want to. The same packaging, we got the tattoos that go onto Miku's arm. I will not be putting these on here because I do plan on ordering the little bodysuit that goes onto Miku so that way I don't have to worry about her getting stained or damaged. So let's go ahead and open up this package and see what all is in here. Looks like we get a, another set of hands because right now Miku has one of these and one of these on right now. So it looks like I can mix and match. It also comes with the protective little tape that I can put around Miku so that way she doesn't get stained uh, from certain parts of her clothing. Here are her little panties. I'm going to go ahead and put these on. I absolutely love all the details that were put into her skirt. All the little writings and stitch work is done perfectly. Over here we actually have a little metal piece. I love it. It looks fantastic and spot on. Her tie is done amazingly as well. I absolutely love the color. I'm glad that they went with the original Miku blue and not the mint greenish color that she can sometimes be portrayed as, which is just as beautiful, but I love the original Miku blue. Her shirt is done quite nicely as well. There is some lovely detailing around the collar, and here is actually a metal piece on her shirt. The back of it is nice as well. All the stitching on here is done phenomenally. For Miku sleeves, and they are done just as well as everything else. These are actually little hard pieces of plastic. Hear that? But yeah, I thought that maybe it was part of the fabric, but no, it's actually hard pieces of plastic that are on here. And I really like that 
because I feel like that gives it more of a sturdier feel. And here are her boots. I thought from watching videos that these were hard plastic pieces, but they actually are quite flexible and bendable pieces of fabric. Down here though is where it is the hard plastic piece. From about here down is where it becomes actual hard plastic. So I really appreciate that um, Volks did this because then now I don't worry about the fact that she won't be able to pose. So, and she also has working zippers back here. This is to help her put her shoes on when it comes time to do that. Here are Miku's headphones and they are done just as well as everything else. I expect no less from Volks. It is nice plastic. It is, feels like good hardy plastic that is not going to break easily if you take care of it properly. These look so dang good. They look exactly like what she wears in all of her art. Here are her little hair pieces. I really, really love these. I love the pink in here. It is this bright metallic pink and it just catches the light so beautifully in person. I really love these pieces a lot. And here are some other smaller plastic pieces. This is the piece that goes onto Miku's tie, and these are the pieces that go on to Miku's sleeves. So here she is, all put together and dolled up, and she is absolutely amazing. I love her so freaking much and I don't think I'm gonna be able to stop saying that she's just freaking wonderful she's even better than I had hoped all the videos that I have seen of her before do her absolutely no justice and when I mean that it's not anything negative to the people who put videos out of her or anything I just think that in person she's ten times better than any picture or any video will ever show you. That I could go over and over in such a long period of time and just continue to praise her, but then this video would be super long. And of course the positives outweigh the negatives for this girl. The first positives are the fact that her outfit is on point. They have all these wonderful detailings on her, here on her sleeve, and her headphones. They have even taken the time to detail the little bits of her microphone. They have also taken the time to sit here and paint her nails this wonderful, fantastic Miku blue. I absolutely love that they did this. They've also gone in and detailed her headphones quite perfectly and her eyes are exquisite i love her eyes i think her face is the best thing about her it's absolutely my favorite part about this girl now unfortunately there is one very large negative about her and that is the price point but if you're lucky enough like myself and are able to find someone on mfc aka my figure collection who is willing to part ways with her for a good price point and allow you to do a payment plan, then it can be budgeted into whatever budget you have. So let's go ahead and compare her. Here she is compared to a Hatsune Miku miniature blind box keychain. Here she is compared to that Omakase micro squishable hanging. Here she is compared to one of my shikishi boards. Here she is compared to my jumbo nendroid Hatsune Miku. And finally, here she is compared to my height. She comes halfway up to my thigh and I am five foot three, so that's a pretty good height. I didn't realize how tall this girl was going to be. So as far as her height goes, she does measure at just a little over two feet, but for other parts of the world, she measures over a little over 60 centimeters. All in all, I love this girl so 
much she was everything I expected and then some. I believe that she is a staple for any Miku hardcore collectors out there or even doll collectors. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please don't be afraid to leave me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to become one of my lovely Kohai today. You can also follow me on Instagram and my figure collection. I always leave the details in the description box down below. Also, don't forget about my weekly giveaway. I also leave the details of that in my description box down below as well. Well, that's it for this week's video, my lovely Kohai. I will see you next time. Bye!